Hey guys, I'm MC Challenger, and I'm back from. Some of you guys might have thought I was dead for some reason because it's been such a long time since I've recorded a video. So, I've been on so many vacations, and school has gone in the way, and everything. Nah. I haven't gotten the inspiration to record recently, so. Yeah. Yeah. So, today, if we can reach 15 likes, I'll do a tutorial on how to build this diesel engine right here, along with the freight cars that's carrying. And so, yeah, let's get started. So, what we're going to build today is the passenger car over here when you guys requested it. And so, I'm going to build it. This one right here. So the materials that you'll need are in my inventory here. These are all of them. So, let's get started. So first of all, what you're going to want to do is put your wheels and for this I'm using gray sand clay and if you didn't know like the last let's build video um, the texture pack that I'm using is flows HD 128 by 128 so yes this passenger car is 20 blocks long so that's why I put two wheels on each side for this one So here you go, you have your wheels. Make sure your wheels are one, two, three, four, five, six blocks apart each. And now for your wheels, you need to put a stone slab like this. Oh, and by the way, um, yes, this is the finished product. Yeah. Oops. Time set day. All right. So then you need to do the same thing that I did there with these other wheels. And now you need to put quartz slabs around the wheels from here like this. Hold on, let me check. Check if this is right. Alright, it's good. So, basically you just want to surround the wheels with quartz slabs, like this. Don't put anything in the middle, yet. That will be for later. So, just like that. And you can go ahead and delete the middle here, I think. No, just keep that. Yeah, like that. So then now you need to fill the middle with spruce wood slabs, so it looks like this. And if you can hear a dog barking in the background, yeah, that's my dog again. Here you go. Right now, it kind of looks like a flat car. And now, what you want to do is you need to take your green stained clay and make it three blocks high here. 
make it a 3 by 2 on this side then run all the green stained clay all the way to here then put it put two pieces there and now you can just go ahead and put some on here so that you can make your windows ready now the spaces for the windows all you need to do is just put one green stained clay every other block like this now repeat the process on the other side but make it so that the 3 by 2 is here just do what you did on the other side, on this side. And if you guys need to look at it more in detail, like I'm going too fast or something, all you have to do is just pause the video. Like that. So you'll have a pretty open space inside. Now, you're going to fill in this part as so. Take your door, put it right there, and then we'll fix that up later so it doesn't look bad. Go to the other side, build a little arc, or arch, not really an arch, but yeah, just a frame for the door. Put your door there. Now take a piston. These are the couplers. Put one right there. And then put one right there. Then take your stone brick slabs. Build up. Like this. So it looks like that. And go to your other side and do the same. So now you have each side of your doors finished. And now all you gotta do is just fill in the windows. this with glass panes and then we're going to put a roof on this passenger car so take out your dark oak wood slabs your dark oak wood stairs and your dark oak wood planks so you need to put three dark oak wood planks here and on the other side too this is symmetrical so Then put dark oak wood uh, planks from here all the way to here. Then do the same thing on the other side. Oops. Now you need your dark oak wood stairs. Put one like this, and then put the other stair like that. Repeat the process on all four corners. And now, hold on, let me just check if we're doing good. Yep, looks like we are. Sorry guys, I forgot something. It's just very small detail. Instead of putting a dark oak wood block here, put a stair like that. And it makes it, you know, a little bit more detailed. Makes it look a little bit more better. A little bit better. Sorry. Oops. Other way. And now, just cover the roof with half slabs like this and 
now the exterior of your passenger car is done. So for the inside, you guys don't have to copy what I'm doing, but this is the way I did it on my passenger car. For the inside, what you gotta do is lay gray carpet all the way down the middle. Put a chest on each corner. And then, make sure you have your court stairs, item frames, and trap door. Now, I forgot we need to finish the roof. So, f well, this is for lighting. So, you need to put dark oak wood stairs like in this like this. And then run them all the way to the other side. Make sure they're facing like this. Turn Again, hold on, let me just set the time so you can see. And now place your glowstone like like this. So you have lots of light in here. Okay. So now we're gonna place the chairs and the tables. So place two chairs like this. Two chairs like this, one chair here, one chair here, sorry, right here, Oops. here, then place another chair right here, here, place two more chairs here and here, and place your final chairs right here and right here, sorry turn off the ring. Now place your trap doors, these are your tables, place them like this. Oops, not right there. Right here, right here, right here, and here. And there are your tables. And now, all that's left is the chair arms I think that's what you call them so now all you have to do is just place them here 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 just on the side of the stairs and that is your passenger car And if you want to see how it looks like behind an engine, um, here it is right here. This is what it looks like behind an engine. And to make this engine, if you're wondering, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is extend the boiler of this engine right here. The one that I showed a tutorial on the last time. All you have to do is extend the boiler by two blocks, I think. Yes, two blocks. And then you can give it a different number. You can use the same tender. And yeah, that's all you have to do. So, thank you guys for watching. Remember, um, all you have to do is we can get ten, 15 likes, and I can post a video on how to build this diesel engine and the freight cars behind it. So, yes. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.